Can you hear me? All right. By slowing down, you become an expert, even if it's at the village level, and you can both detect misinformation and your reporting gives you a deeper understanding as an antidote against so-called fake news. Besides, how many pairs of shoes I've burned through, you mean? Which is about seven or eight. Um, it's why are you doing this? Why are you out walking across the steppes of Kazakhstan? Why are you out walking across the tar desert of India? And the answer is because that's where the stories are. And I'm going places where most journalists don't slow down enough to go. So get off the beaten trail to find untold stories and give people whose voices aren't normally heard a voice. Being an explorer, a, store, a, you know, a journalist, and an ordinary person means that I'm a storyteller. And guess what? We all are. There are seven point some billion storytellers around the planet, and I have this amazing privilege to help tell other people's stories, not just my own. Uh, it's very humbling. Well, I think to some degree, opinion is almost inseparable even from the most fact-based reporting, right? We all are human beings. But the very act of reporting, which is mean you talk to somebody else, can puncture the concerns about your report turning into an editorial, just you talking. So my antidote to that would be to talk to two or three people who have differing opinions. Um, two things. One is that we're all family. It seems obvious, but this becomes very clear after interviewing literally hundreds of people from many different cultures and languages across the world. We all have the same concerns the same um, anxieties, the same loves, the same hopes. So we are family. The second thing is, is just how easy it's been. That's been unexpected. People say it must be terrible in a trial to be walking across continents. On the contrary, it's the easiest thing in the world because it's, we're it's what we're designed biologically to do.